My name is Julie. I donated embryos and I'm here to put the whole family together. My name is Sonia. I'm here to learn more about the family I didn't know about. My name is Ava. I'm here to better know our family. And I'm Carla and I'm here to learn as much as I can about this um, new part of the family that I didn't even know existed. Them finding out who their parents were was important to me. I had kept it a secret their entire lives. The only person that knew was my mother. When my mother had passed away and I was going into surgery, I had to tell them because nobody else knew. I took 23andMe because I was taking a genetics course at the time and given this news, we were definitely like, man, there's some things that we possibly want to explore and health was a huge concern. So we waited six years thinking nothing else was gonna happen. I was heading up to the Upper Peninsula in Michigan for a camping trip and we got an email from your sister. <laughs> hey, I'm your aunt. We are related. I text Sonia and I'm like, uh, someone just emailed me being like, I'm your aunt. You should go on 23andMe and check this out. And then cell service gives out and I'm camping for the rest of the weekend thinking, oh my goodness, what's happening? My sister called me up and she said, I got a hit on 23andMe that these twin girls are related to me as an aunt and their mother must be one of my sisters. The hair in the back of my neck stood up and I went, they're mine. When I get back, she's like, I contacted her and it turns out we have two twin brothers. I think I was at work when my mom called me and I was initially really stunned. I think over time as I thought about it more, Eventually, I think I became overwhelmed with a lot of excitement. If I had to describe uh, meeting Sonia and Ava in one word, it'd be very intriguing. When they showed up in the driveway, as soon as I hugged them, I felt close, and it was a very important feeling. It was just a lovely perk that we got a new family out of it. <laughs>